All right, Deanne Cummins, welcome back to Victoria. Thank you, Chris. So you're gonna run your last Victoria Track Classic? Yes. Tomorrow night? Yes. So what are you looking for? You're not just gonna come out and, and race for the sake of racing one last oh, time in front of your fans. You're no. looking for a time. Oh, absolutely. Um, probably have a bone to pick with the selection criteria and the fact that the date was the end of May. I think a few of us feel like, you know, if if everything didn't go 100%, which for a lot of us it didn't, a few injuries cropped up here and there, that that time period wasn't quite enough to get the standard. So I'm going out there to run fast. And even though it's too late to be selected, to prove that potentially I could have been on the team and hopefully been a medal um, threat. So Sorry, going out to run fast for sure. Yeah, no dilly dallying. All right, are you looking for what, like a 58 first uh, 400? Yep, 58, 129, two minutes. Nice. Or yeah. break that two minute barrier. Or break that time. two minute. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be fantastic. So take me through your race at Nationals. You came third. Came third. Um, I made a really bad tactical decision with 200 to go. And um, not to sound disrespectful to Melissa, but I think I could have threatened her for the gold. I mean, I think she was definitely a clear gold winner, but um, I got stuck a little bit behind Helen Crofts and couldn't get out the box and needed to wait for them to get a little bit of a head so that I could move out out of the way and by then Melissa was gone. So I know that I'm in great shape. I have an awesome coach at the moment. My practice is awesome. I've run some of my best times ever in practice. So now it's just about, you know, putting it together for the races, which kind of I've, you know, I was always a very good racer and a lazy trainer and now I'm an awesome trainer and kind of losing the plot a bit in my races, but it's gonna come together here in Victoria for sure. So what's, uh, I understand that you're, uh, you're doing a workout with uh, um, Maria Matola recently. Is she still racing? That was actually that, yes. I have done a workout with Maria Matola. She's not racing, but she definitely keeps herself fit. She coaches Costa Semenya, and we happened to be at the same track, and Costa had finished her workout, and Maria said, what was I doing? Could she join in? And, you know, of course I was in awe. I was like, of course, made sure somebody had a camera and I got the shot. So yeah, I'm friends with Maria and her coach and her agent and have maintained that relationship. So um, something like that is pretty awesome. Neat. And she still yeah. has uh, one of the best six packs in the business. Oh, pipes, six pack. Absolutely. She's uh, pretty intimidating <laughs> to look at for sure. <laughs> yeah, great athlete uh, yeah. like yourself. So yeah. now um, after this meet, you've got Harry Jerome and you going to go to Europe for a few meets? Um, I'm hoping so. If I can get a good run here, the Victoria International will open up a few op more options for me in Europe. Um, I do have a great agent, but still it puts him under pressure to try and get me in some of those races with just a 202. So hopefully I can make his job a little bit easier and run closer to two minutes, if not a 159. Well, well good yeah. luck to you. But one final question, yeah. Yeah. and that is when track is over, coming up very shortly, you're done. What, do you, what are your plans going forward? Well, you know, I never thought that I would get into coaching, but I've done a little bit of coaching in the last couple of years, a uh, volunteer with kids aged 12 to 18, and um, I really love it. And, it, you know, really, I feel like that's where I can make an impact in the sport is in that age group. So hopefully I can go back and work more full time with this uh, Mountain West Youth Track Club and uh, see where it goes from there. But aside from that, all those other exciting things, mountain biking and skiing and all the sports that I've avoided for fear of injury for the last 15 years, um, you know, I kind of feel like I'm missing out, so. Okay, not so much a final question then because, <laughs> okay, yeah. I know I interviewed Keep you a few years ago <laughs> yeah. and, and I just jokingly asked if you're gonna do the Comrades Marathon one day and you said, I'd love to do it one day. Or were you just joking? Yeah, you no, I would really <laughs> love to do it. The thing is, I have to wrap my head around running that far on concrete. Um, you know, I don't want to mess myself up for the rest of my life. But from an emotional perspective, absolutely, Comrades Marathon, uh, I mean, my heroes come from that event. Bruce Fordyce watched it every year growing up in South Africa. I mean, the route came straight past our house and uh, I have to do it. My best friend in South Africa, Joe, just ran it for the first time this year and I was like, darn, she did it before me. <laughs> so yes, I will be going back at some point and attempting to run 89.9 kilometers. Yeah, it's a long way from the eight. Well, actually, this track in particular goes back to what Keith said, that 20 year union of the Commonwealth Games. My parents had immigrated from South Africa in 94 and I was in South Africa still completing my degree and one of the first things that kind of resonated with this 
potential move to Canada for me was that there was an athletics track and the Commonwealth Games was being held right here in Victoria. They're from Vancouver and they're on the island for a holiday. And I kept thinking, I gotta go see this place, you know. Um, then moved here and I'm right racing on the Commonwealth Games track 20 years ago. Uh, this has become my home town. I've been out of Victoria for a while now, but this meet is incredible. You can see we've got huge caliber of athletes. We're getting the Canadian record holders um, to come and compete here. And that's not so easy when you have athletes spread across Canada. It's a long way to go. So it's a testament to the organizing committee and what a great job they do in preparing um, the, the meet and the track and the officials for a great competition for us because we couldn't do it without the team that's um, around this event so we have to appreciate them <laughs> I do and you know it would be really awesome if Melissa did break the record um, she's she's definitely very talented and she's come a long way in a very short pe period of time so props to her gosh how awesome would it be if I was in the race where she broke the Canadian record and I think that would be a pretty sweet way to leave the sport Yes, it is. You know, I mean, I've had some races here that I've, Victoria International Track Classic races that I've almost lost coming into the final turn and the crowd just honestly, it just really lifts you up from behind. So um, being a hometown fan base, uh, I, don't, I think everybody underestimates the power um, of that spirit that can carry you across the track. Well, for now, uh, good luck yeah. uh, tomorrow night at the uh, Big Track Classic. Yeah, evening. thank you. Thanks. I'm so excited. I hope the stands are full and all my friends are out. And thank you for everything, everyone.